Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you guys how to install the F1 TV overlay. Um, so this is including the, uh, the Halo and the TV leaderboard stuff. First thing is you need to have a PC, you need to have your games running on the PC. It's not going to work on console, Sony or, or Xbox One. The second one is Sim Hub. you need to install that. It's free, um, but you've got to pay like 5 euros for some additional features. And thirdly you need to install the HUDs um, and again they do cost money but they're only like five euros. I've sent the links here but I'll just quickly show you the website so you know this is the SimHub website when you go on it you just need to click here and then just follow the install instructions pretty straightforward. The HUDs are downloadable from this website which I'll add to the description. So if you've installed SimHub you've purchased the mods, uh, the HUDs and downloaded them. The next bit is transferring files and installing fonts. So once you download the files, um, it will appear in your downloads, of course, and then it might appear as a um, you know extract file. So you just need to extract them, and then you'll have two folders: the Halo HUD and the TV overlay. If I start off with the TV overlay, the first thing you need to do is install the fonts. So you select them all, right-click, install. Uh, I'm not going to click because I already got it installed, but that's all you need to do. Then I'll go back here, and if I click on the SimHub folder. I basically just need to copy this, all of this, into um, the SimHub folder. You'll find a SimHub folder in your C drive most likely. So I just paste it. I've already done it, so I'm not going to do it. No need for me to do it. Then we will go back to our download file and then we'll click on the widgets. I am just going to click on F1 2020 in this tutorial and you'll see we have all of these widgets. So essentially you just need to double click on them. I've already installed these so I'm not going to bother installing it again. I'm just going to do the leaderboard again just to show you. So double click it and then you'll see this import into SimHub library. Yeah, overwrite. All done. And you just need to do the same for the rest. Okay. Now let's go into the other Halo HUD file, which I haven't done yet. I'm going to do the same thing, install the fonts, and then go to the SimHub file, select all, copy, and you probably don't need to do the Gary Shadow plugin again, but it's no harm in doing it. Go back to your SimHub file, C drive, paste all of that in. Uh, I'm just going to replace them. All done. Then we will just same thing as before, just import this in. Import into SimHubly. So now that we've done step 3, we go on to step 4, which is the SimHub settings. So I'll open up SimHub and I'll click on additional plugins and go to Garage Shallow plugin. And then you just need to match my settings here. That's all you need to do. Next thing we need to do is click on Settings, Plugins, and we just need to check Keyboard Input and Keyboard Emulator is already selected, so that's all good. The other thing you need to do um, is click on Games and select F1 2020 for example, and you can see it says Code Mode 720 Telemetry is not configured, so you just need to click Fix it automatically, and there you go, it's all done. Loaded a game, you need to go on game options, settings, graphic options, video mode, and you need to make sure it's windowed. It can it can be windowed or windowed, full screen doesn't really matter as long as it's windowed. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So that's the first thing. And then the second thing is if you go on telemetry settings, basically just copy what I have. Um, and if you have troubles where it's not working, sometimes you just need to turn this off and on. So when you're in game, if you can't see or the HUDs are not working properly, just go to your press start, go to your telemetry settings, and just put this off on. Mess around with this, and it will start working. Um, apart from that, everything else should be the same. This UDP port should match whatever you've got on your SIM hub. Um, it will be two zero triple seven by default. Uh, but if you've changed that, then just make sure. Um, when you go on game config, what we did just before, just make sure um, it's 20777. Um, 
that's all here. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually just load the dashboards at the overlays. So you go on Dash Studio, click Overlays, and select the ones you want. Um, I am not going to do all of them, so I'll just do the Halo HUD. And, you know, we can resize it once we're in-game, but for now, I'm just going to do that. Okay, and then I'm just going to add the TV overlay as well. Um, there we go. Do that, and again, once we're in-game, we can resize. Um, and up to you if you want to add any other ones in, it doesn't really matter. The only thing I recommend doing is saving the layout. So you don't need to keep doing this manually each time. You just load whatever you've saved here and it'll automatically load. So we click on Stop Edit, um, Hide When Not In Race. And right, so a very important thing here now is in order to get some of the widgets to pop up, um, you need to press Selected Buttons. So for the Halo HUD, you need to press the H button. Otherwise, it's not going to show up. So you press the H button, it will show up. We'll come back. If you press um, F, you'll have the GeForce come up. And then, you know, for other stuff, for example, on the TV overlay, if you press T, the tires and all of that stuff will show up. So if I press T on my keyboard, you'll see the tires stuff pop up. Okay, so you can see I've got everything loaded. Um, and this will allow you to move things around. So I'm just in the pause menu, that's all working fine. Um, got the leaderboard, got the stopwatch. I'm racing on like stream AI mode, so bear with me. 